horses. Hello, fine gentlemen. I see you have a young boy. This is not a boy. This is an orphan. We ran out of room in the shelter, and he needs a homestat. Oh, I cannot uh, just take a boy. You have a moral obligation to God himself to take this boy. And uh, perhaps we can work something out. He's fuel efficient, uh, low calorie. Come on now. I guess there's no shame in inviting strangers into my house. Would you guys like some tea or whatever we English do nowadays or back in the days or... Uh, so tell me, boy, what are your political leanings? Boys do not have the right to vote, for they are young children, and they do not have brains. Isn't that right, kid? You don't have any brains? Don't be nervous. Tell the man about your lack of brains. Uh, <laughs> Go on, child. Um, no brains whatsoever. <clears throat> Quite. Well, he is small, and he can fit into small places. And he doesn't have to bend over as much to pick up all your socks or whatever? A couple years ago, you suffered from that uh, Tiny Tim disease, isn't that right? Uh, you mean ADHD? Wonderful. Oh, no. This is quite wonderful indeed. Now, tell me, boy, do you belong to a uh, conservative group or a liberal? Well, that's enough right now. You, you better sign these papers. This boy is all yours. Well, this is happening awfully fast. <laughs> But okay, I guess when people put paper in front of me, I have to sign it. Here you go. This is my John Hancock. John Hancock is a terrorist. An American terrorist. But, you know, we're from British. Okay, boy. You have to be good. See you later. <laughs> it looks like he's your problem now. What an interesting fellow that man is. Perhaps I shall buy that hat when I go to the store next week. Mmm, my boy, come here, please. Let me take a good look at you. Would you say you're part of the big wig party or the small wig? Uh, I don't recognize either side as viable. So you're quite a little radical, are you? <laughs> uh, well, not quite exactly. I'm a bit of a radical myself, young man. Would you like to see my switchblade? I've seen plenty. I'm sure you have, you dirty little street rat. Uh, let me ask you something. Would you like to hear my life story? Uh, uh, please, please don't tell me your life story. I was a young man, as young as you, when I decided to become a... Oh, no, please. Please just stop. It was the year without a summer. Mount Tambora erupted. It was cold, and so many people died. Uh, please stop. <laughs> well, come on now. The story's just getting good. If it's not good from the beginning, oh, no? it's never going to be good. Oh, um, I have a really good idea. I want you to go to the store, buy a pen, I need a pen, and some paper, and you're going to write these stories down. Oh no, do I have to? Oh no, guess I have to find the place. Now hurry on back. <laughs> I'll be waiting. Uh, oh.